Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Slay the Spire Downfall, a free, complete modded expansion for Slay the Spire. Out now on Steam. You can actually download this mod via Steam. It has its own store page. You don't have to fiddle with any modding tools or anything like that. It features seven fully complete new characters and a whole new campaign where you ascend the Spire in reverse. You're playing as the villains, the traditional villains of Slay the Spire, the bosses. In addition, with the Steam release, I believe they've added, yeah, they've added a new standard character as well, the Hermit, that you can play as. But of course, we are going to be checking out the Downfall expansion. I've been wanting to check this out for a while. And hey, if you add something to Steam so I don't have to mess with any modding tools or anything, I am more likely to check it out. It is official. It is awesome. It is free. Why not? We're going to be playing as the Slime Boss here today. HP 65, Souls 99. I don't, don't know what that's going to be about here. The heart's slimiest general can fight as one or as many. Whenever you consume, heal 2 HP and up to 8 each combat. Oh, heal 2 HP, up to 8 each combat. Gotcha. So each character is going to have their own unlocks, like typical base Slay the Spire as well. But in we shall go. I will so briefly explain the basics of Slay the Spire, but this is going to be assuming that you do know the game uh, a wee bit. It's been out for a long time. But last, rise, servant. Reach the intruder to receive more blessings. Okay, reach the intruder. Yeah, see, look at, we're going down, 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 down. And we are going to be fighting, okay, fighting the defect. Very, very interesting. Very, very curious. I'll take the max HP. Granted. All right, so we start at the... We start at the bonfire, the, the resting site. That's interesting. It makes sense. But also, it's a weird thing to get first because we're not going to be missing any health here. Uh, moving down. Look for the path of the most elites. I don't know. I'll pick this. Recall. Obtain the ruby key. Break it later. I, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know in this, in this mod what that is going to be doing for us. But let's check out our deck. What do we have? We have Strike, which, of course, typical slimy little looking Strike there. We also have Tackle. Deal 12 damage and 3 to yourself. Defend, gave, gain 5 block. Split, choose 1 of 4 slimes to split. Into, okay. Uh, strange. Apply 6 goop. The next attack deals 1 more damage per goop. Removing all goop and triggering any consume effects. Okay. I, uh, we'll, we'll see what goes on with that. Whenever you consume, heal 2 HP. And triggers all consume effects. We don't really have any consume right now, do we? I, I, I don't know. We'll find, we'll find out. For now, let's just, uh, let's go Smith. We'll upgrade something. Do we want to just upgrade a strike? We want to apply... Oh, that makes that cost zero for us. Could make it so choose two of four slimes to split into. Very curious. Uh, I'll upgrade that because it seems like the big key interesting thing that we have starting off here. All right, here we are. Hello there, fellow little slime boys. So what is this? Slime slot. Slime minions can be placed in these slots through splitting. Okay, so we don't actually split ourselves. Gotcha. I was worried that would be the case, though. I mean, for now, do we just... I, I feel like we should go ahead and go for attack. Attack? Apply six goop. The next attack does one more damage per goop, removing all goop and triggering consume effects. Okay. Downfall. It does say what uh, the mod is from. I only have the one mod on. Next attack against this enemy deals six. Consuming all goop. Gotcha. Consume The consume is you're consuming the goop. Understood. The phrasing on it had me like a little a little tripped up there, but I, I, I gotcha, gotcha. I do need to know. Gorilla Slime. Attacks for three to all enemies each turn. Meyer Slime attacks for two and applies two goop each turn. Attacks for one and grants you three block each turn. Uh, attacks for five each turn. Uh, you know what? Let's give me that and then give me that. Okay. Deals two damage and applies two goop. 
at the start of your turn. Deals five damage at the start of your turn. So we're gonna get goop whenever you consume, just whenever you consume. So we're gonna do this, we'll take the hit, we consume the goop, Meyer Slime is gonna put on more goop for us to consume next time so we can get over the fact that we took that damage. Moreover though, we are gonna kill with the bru Bruiser Slime before that even happens, so, oh no, I've misplayed, I'm down one health. Cringe. Uh, so, souls is just, it's just our money. Shows how many souls you are carrying. Souls can be given to the heart for rewards. Oh, is the shop? Is there no like typical shopkeeper? We'll see. We'll see when we get to the shop. I guess. I didn't pick anything there, but alas, you fall into a puddle that's made of slime goop. Calmly, you bathe yourself as you bond with the goop, enjoying a moment of reprieve. Yeah, I guess, yeah, when I opened up the map and I went past, I, I just skipped over that stuff entirely. Enjoying a moment of reprieve. Climbing out, you notice a pool of, in, you notice in the pool of souls, a few unfortunate adventures slowly being consumed by a gluttonous creature. Gain greed ooze. What's this? At the start of combat, spawn a greed ooze. At rest sites, greed ooze will take 50 of your souls, increasing its damage by one. I'm going to just take the money for now. Ooh, look at that. You exit the invigorating slime bath, absorbing the souls, leaving the creature with a sad look upon its amorphous face. Okay, we have 192. Do I go here? I mean, like, I kind of want to go to the uh, elite anyways. I'm very curious. Oh, so the, the shopkeeper is... Yeah, it's a fight. Curious, curious, curious. Uh... Tax for one and grants you three block. I don't know what you do. So I guess I'm afraid to, to go for anything. I'm definitely going to take the five damage. The question is, do I want block or do I want more damage? Let's go with more damage. Slightly more. Because so that's going to also apply the goop. I guess I'll defend. I don't know. He intends to block. His barricade block is not removed at the start of each turn. Panic button. Okay, so you are you are definitely going to attack me here. Um, and I cannot block all of it in the current moment. Defends. Do I want to consume the goop? I guess if we're going to be consuming the goop, we want to consume it all at once here. Because we don't want to waste our, uh, our goo heals here. So when does this happen? Is the three damage... Okay, so the three da damage happens first, and then we go for it. But that went through our block. It doesn't go directly to us. So our block can... Uh, our defense can block the damage from that attack. Which is good in theory, but also... I Yeah, I wouldn't have done that had I known it was going to go from our block before our HP. I thought for some reason it would go underneath it like some other attacks can in Slay the Spire. Um, yeah, what do we got here? We have six damage, apply six goop. Again, if we're going to attack here, I want to apply all the excess goop. So we do not proc this too many times. I guess maybe it would have been fine if we attacked and then gooped. No reason to block, but also no reason not to block. Intends to... Yeah, intends to escape next turn. Okay. I'm curious. If they're going to run away, do we see them again? Can we... Do they have the same amount of health? Or do we need to kill them in time? Because obviously there's no way we... There's obviously no way we kill this in time here. Look at them scoot away. They a little shuffle off on their bum there. Okay, here we go. Combo tackle. Deal 12 damage and then 3 damage to yourself. Add a random tackle card to your hand. It costs 0. Goop armor. Gain 3 block whenever you consume. Deal th 5 damage. Consume. Activates when an attack is used. Bonus effect, which activates when an attack is used on an enemy who has goop. Gotcha. So if... If they have goop on them and we use Leeching Strike, we gain block equal to said goop. I 
I mean, that seems good. Seems fun. Sacrifice. Well, oh, hello. Ah, okay. So in place of the shopkeeper, we have the heart now. Understood. Greetings, minion. Oh, God, look at this. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, hey. Strange. I feel like I really do want to remove something. Any different items? Add two licks to your hand? I don't know what lick... Oh, lick is... Oh, it says on the left. Apply for goop exhaust buried. I don't know what buried is. That's... That's new. Effects that apply goop, apply two more goop. Split into a bruiser slime. Command... Command two times. Your leading slime attacks. I do like that. It's on sale. I, I like that because it exhausts... Like, we don't... Currently, we don't have enough um, splits to fill up all three slots yet. So this is a, a nice way to do so. Uh, deal the damage, add a lick. Nibble and lick. Oh, my God. Deal one damage, add a lick to your hand for zero, and then exhaust. Yeah, still don't know what buried does. We'll have to see. Uh, deal six damage to all enemies. Exhume two random lick cards. So we can put a card from your exhaust pile. So basically, we get two lick cards if we have exhausted two lick cards already. Definitely seems to be a, uh, a potential lick build going on. Slurp seems good. Can we get slurp and card removal? We can. So if we got that, we've added this, which is a little bit aggressive. This is a little bit aggressive, but a little bit defensive. We can definitely afford to probably remove one of our blocks. I think that that would be a logical way to go about it. Bye-bye. Just double-checking, making sure we got everything we need there. Because I have, I have skipped something already in this run. And <laughs> we're, like, barely in. All right. Gain six block and gain two licks. I mean, we feel like we really might as well do that. So six block. If I make them roll up, do they stop attacking? I can't remember. I genuinely can't remember. So we could apply six goop and deal six damage. That shouldn't make you... Okay, good. That should kill. Good, 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 good. Because it did the excess damage. So does it tell me what uh, Barry does? Buried cards will always be chosen last for exhume effects. Oh, gotcha. It's irrelevant at the moment, but it's good to know. Oh, that's huge, though. Bonk. God, this mod is so clean. It just feels official. It feels like an official uh, update. It really does. God, it's so, like... Typically, when games ha do this sort of thing where it's like, yes, but now you play as the boss yourself, it always feels jump the sharky and kind of hokey and weird. This feels so polished that I forgot I was playing a mod. <laughs> I, like, I literally forgot I was playing a mod. I thought that this was just like legit. <laughs> uh, gain seven block and three temporary thorns. Interesting. Effects that apply goop, apply two more. Gain five block, apply five goop, and one weak. Oh, gain five block, period. Apply five goop and one weak to all enemies. Goop spray. What's this icky face like goop? Okay, I was curious if we were going to be fighting the same, uh, same mini bosses, but I guess that they're not... Yeah, so we're trying to get souls on our way to them. Gotcha, so that... Uh, fair, fair. Uh, so we're not going to want to play a lot of skills. Definitely still go for that. Getting the free block sounds really nice, too, against this guy. Because you do not want to... Um, you do not want to play skills against him. When Okay, well, you don't want to play skills against him as soon as he puts on his buff. Because I guess it's not there yet. Yeah, he has uh, Enrage. Whenever you play a skill, he gains two strength. He becomes quite literally, like, just a lot stronger. Our li yeah, licks are skills. Oh, no. I feel like this will be worth it. 
it's for the 10, and then it puts down another Bruiser Slime that's going to be doing its stuff for the whole fight here. Um. All right, I, I, uh, spooky, spooky, spooky. Do we defend? Basically, we defend if we think we can kill next turn. I don't think we, I don't think we can. Maybe we can. We'll do ten damage. I don't. No, I don't think we can. So do we take the 16 to the face, knowing full well it's going to suck? And then we heal up a little bit? No, I think we defend still. Maybe. Nah, I regret it. God, we have so many skills! Gain two energy? Maybe. If we gain two energy, we'll be able to play literally everything. We could goop spray... Goop spray... Strike... Or, no, goop spray... Leeching strike, defend, defend, strike. That gives us five... Uh... Ten... Fifteen... Twenty... But we're gonna buff him up to the high hell. Uh... But we will be doing six... We'll be doing 11 damage to him. We'll be doing... No, we'll be doing six, 16 damage to him. And then we'll be doing 10 next turn. That puts us in a situation where we would be in a terrible spot if we don't get what we need, but I'm going to do it anyways because it's fun. We are also weakening him, uh, which is fun. If we don't get what we need, we're going to have a, a bad time. Maybe we didn't need to do that last block, but still. I think that we can draw, confidently say we'll draw one here. So we can do this to give him a, a good lick. Because I would like to heal up a little bit. Because we did take a lot of damage. Lantern, start each combat with one additional energy. Why not? Block potion sounds great. Dissolve, draw two cards, exhaust a card, gain licks equal to its cost. Split into a mire slime. Command twice. Deal eight damage and then command all slimes. Command all slimes. It specifically says all after the command. Because command is just the front. Costs two to do, though. It's eight damage. A typical command of all would look like, what? Ten damage. And like eleven damage, three block, or like... 12 damage and 2 goop. So this could be 20 damage, 2 goop for 2 cost, which is pretty good. But it's also situational. We need to be set up before that happens. That's unlikely and it is expensive. Draw 2 cards. Exhaust a card. Gain licks equal to the... I, I like this. It's, a, it's an exhaust card itself. I'm somewhat of an exhaust card myself. Um... I will want to fight the elite, but let's go for this chest. Whenever you would deal four or less unblocked attack damage, increase it to five. Does that... That doesn't account for our... Our goo boys, does it? Like, I, here's the thing. I'm not going for this... The keys anyways at this point, clearly. Like, I, I'm just experiencing this... Um, this mod, this expansion for the first time as is. Command three times. Three cards exhaust. Six block, three licks. Two weak. Weak lowers their attack. I kind of like the idea of that. Apply goop, we can make that free. Seems not bad. Tackle, what does this do? 16 damage, 3 to yourself? I mean, it's, it makes it more worth it for sure. No, it's not gain block equal to the damage. It's gain block equal to the goop. I like the thought of... Um, oh, boy. 3 licks. Do we have Exhum anywhere? Did we ever pick up something? We did not pick up something with Exhum yet. Oh, boy. Hit me with a zero cost scoop. 
It's basically like a, f a lick. It doesn't go away. Minor League Arena. Pathing through the Exordium, you find yourself at a well-known attraction, the former site of Brutal Games, which now take place in the city's Coliseum. The smaller, less attractive arena now serves as a training ground and battle stage for lesser challengers. This type of contest is normally beneath you, but it could be an entertaining distraction. Uh, at the end of your turn, gain one block for each card in your hands. Gremlin Knob. Champion Belt. Whenever you apply vulnerable, apply a weak. It's not, we don't have any way to do that. Attacks that cost zero do an additional four damage. Uh, the only thing that is maybe usable is this, but this is really scary for fighting right now. I'll do it. Uh, what could possibly go wrong? We'll split. Who does it attack, by the way? Attack random? I'm gonna try that out. I'll try that out too. Maybe it applies. It says three to all. Maybe. Maybe it'll maybe it'll work. How we desire. Go for that. Uh, we have basically all the block we need. But also, there's no reason not to block more. Let's get the Mystic out of the way. He's going to defend, but he's going to defend, yeah, the Mystic back there, which is a little bit annoying. Unfortunately, it does not up that to five. That's fair. That makes sense. I'm not going to be mad at that. Agupia. Okay. Draw two cards, exhaust a card, gain Lex equal to the cost. I will, I will exhaust, oh, yo, yo. I'll exhaust a plane defend in this context. Let's lick, leeching strike for the extra armor, and then we'll do a tackle, still being able to block all of it. This is interesting. Okay, there's the big old defend on that son of a gun. 12 damage coming out from you. Gain four block, add two licks. Doing it mostly for the licks at this point. For licks and wiggles. At the same time, I could put on eight goop. Leeching strike. I like that better. I like that way better. We leeching strike there. We could have killed, couldn't we? Doesn't really matter. We still have... We got the lethal here, and this is going to go for the three to all. He did heal himself. Never mind. All right, um, goop spray, probably a no-brainer, right? Okay, tackle would kill. I like it. Apply goop, defend, just sit here and smile. Not enough energy to do that. We're going to take a little bit of a, little bit of a hit, but we still... Nope, we're all out of Heart of Goop procs, actually. Definitely Cross of Spits. Goo Spray for sure. Four times three. We're gonna we're gonna take a smackin'. This would do 39 damage. This would do 33, and it we would not hurt ourselves. Question is, do we gain the extra block just to not take what is it? We would take yeah 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 six ten. We take ten damage. Oh wait, I, I did math wrong. No, we would take four half two six. We take six damage. I'm fine with that, probably right. Like I, I think that the block potion. We should block potion when we're gonna use it to block that much damage. The, the only reason to go for it is if I was going to tackle as well, because then I'd be taking, kind of like taking nine, it would block. Actually, I talked myself into it. I'll, I've talked myself into it. It's a, it's a full block. I'm good. I don't know why I just really, I, I like this combo right here. It feels so fun. It's, it's so nice. Uh, there's the cloak clasp. The end of your turn, gain one block for each card in your hand. How usable is it going to be? I don't really know. 
Haunting Lick. Apply a Vulnerable and for Goop. Exhaust. I actually really like that. Prevent the next time you would be damaged by an enemy attack. Absorbing your leading slime instead. Oh! Gain strength when we absorb. That's really cool if we were going for that kind of a build. Do 11 damage and 3 damage yourself. Consume. Apply to vulnerable. I'm going to go for the haunting lick. More elites. Okay, goop spray. We're going to be able to uh, kind of get a rid of all of this at the same time. It's, it's sort of annoying because they're going to block all of it. That's just what they got there. Oh, but they, stu they do still get weakened. Okay. They do still get weakened. Go for the low HP one first. Block all of that yet. And we... If they have no goop on them, we might as well strike. Go ahead and strike. Oh, uh, there's lots of dazed. Oh, I was hoping to get the dazed there. What do we want to ditch? What do we want to ditch? Ditch a base defense. How about that? Okay, so yeah, he does attack a random target. I feel like that makes sense to, to play that. We're going to get a lot of damage here. I should have probably def uh, gotten rid of that right now, but alas. Um, so we have six. We can go up to 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 if we don't play it. But then we might draw our... Then we have to draw our licks instead. Is that worth? I don't know if that's worth. Because getting licks is nice. Drawing licks is kind of bad. It's it's not... It's better than dazed. But... I need to draw an attack next turn, too. So, four... 8, 12, 12, 6. Okay, we have lethal on a strike now on that one in the front. We needed to kill quicker, otherwise it would have made more sense to go for you, but hey. Oh. Can't help but notice we did not get it. At this point... Hit me with that. And hit me with. That. Maybe we should have gone for the other goop. But yeah, we're going to take a big hit here. It's going to actually be really annoying. The vulnerable also was not that exciting now that I think about it. Because we have nothing to do about it. We're taking a lot of hits. A lot of hits here. This is pain. Definitely want to block. We're going to get a heal off. We have five. Five damage. It's at the beginning of my turn is the concern. So I basically have to strike this. It's super annoying, but I kind of have to. And then we can kill that one on the next turn. Yes, we're going to be taking a little bit of damage here. We're going to take a five, which is super annoying. But we're going to be going to the healer anywho. And we're pushing our we're pushing our limits, you know? We're pushing our limits, it's okay. We're limit testing with new content. Captain's wheel at the start of your third turn, gain 18 block. Why not? Leech energy. Deal five damage. Consume. Gain an energy and draw a card. Wait, what? Oh. That's pretty good. That means that... Okay, I'm going to take this and we're going to... That alone will make us a little bit more interested in... Um, eh. A little bit more interested in taking the goop option when splitting up instead of just the attack option. 
You come across a dead adventurer on the floor. His spirit still lingers in the area. Also looks as though he's been gouged and trampled by horned beasts. A soul harvesting ritual could yield results here, but whichever creature slew this man may return soon. Alright, I just want to see all these events. Oh, it's the shopkeeper again. Hello. Okay. Go for the damage. He does have the same amount of health. He is stronger now, though. Has stolen 15 of your souls. You little devil. Oh, vulnerable probably would have worked well there. Um, He's going to run. He's going to run, so I might as well get the the goop on him, right? He's not gonna run right now. He's gonna do he does one attack and then he gets the hell out of here. Okay, so we go for that. That gives us the card draw and the heal and the energy. Spit more goop. More block. Nick, Nick. Defend. Sure. Yeah. Taking the money and running. No, he's get he's going for a buff. Draw two cards. I'm gonna I'm gonna say I'm gonna get rid rid of tackle probably here. Or no, I can I can get rid of defend on this turn. I I, I have faith. I have stupid faith. Don't want a goop spray here. We have so much dang armor. We got it at a terrible turn. Soul steal. And then he's gonna run. Why do they always run? Okay. Lick, lick. Slap, slap. We got him down pretty darn far. I... This is an interesting... It's an interesting mechanic. I don't know what we're going to get when he dies. Split into a gorilla slime. Which one is that? Attacks everybody. Goop spray. Maybe. Get eight damage. Consume Adalek. I do like that. It looks tasty. It basically does damage and then lets you reapply goop, which I think is good. I think I'm... I'm kind of trashing my deck here, so we got to make sure we remove some stuff. Cards which exhaust when played will be discarded 50% of the times. Uh, I think that's going to cause a big pro problem. <laughs> I think that would cause a big problem. Mayhem is fun. Shoutouts to Michael. Uh, at the start of combat, split into a bruiser slime. The start of combat split into the Bruiser Slime is kind of cool. Consume command. Oh, I miss... I, I love Gremlin Horn. It's a fun one. Gain a potency. Increase the damage of all your spawn slimes. Secondary effects increase by one for every two potency. Ooh. Truth be told, I definitely have to go for this first. We've been adding a decent amount of damage, so let's remove a strike... Instead of anything else there, the question is, what else do we do? Oh, this is new. Gain two strength, two dex, add two burn plus cards to your draw pile. Oof. Eleven damage, three damage yourself, draw two cards. It's fun. Split into a Meyer slime. Which one's the Meyer slime? Actually, what happens if we... If you have no empty slots, your oldest slime is automatically absorbed make, to make room, granting you strength. Um, That's cool, but unless I'm going for a spawning build, it doesn't feel like it makes a whole lot of sense for us to spawn more. I don't know. I feel like we maybe just say no and come back later to ditch another card. Lose the boot? 
gain scrap ooze. Locked if you reach inside. Scrap ooze. At the start of combat, spawn a scrap ooze. At rest sites, you can donate a card to the scrap ooze, modifying its damage. Interesting. The boot is not relevant, so I'm going to say sure. The boot is irrelevant to my current build. Since it does not apply on our wee babies here. Uh, he's going to go for an 11 damage right off the bat. I don't think that we're going to have time to really care about that. I shall... Lick thee. I shall slurp thee. I, this That combo right there just feels so nice. So strong. God. Ah, I love it. You're done, son. No C's on the bun. Dex potion. Split into mire. We do, we do now have more than three slimes overall. I like this idea, but I don't like it for us right now. Hello, we're going to be getting towards the boss here. Looks tasty. Definitely going for this. What is it again? Upon death applies to vulnerable. So we could go for wop, 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 wop. Weird, but I guess it's kind of good if we don't kill, right? In a in a sick, twisted kind of a way. Because now we're vulnerable, but then we can get the uh, theoretically get the big boy kill right here. Bang into you know, bang. Why not? All right. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Mass repurpose. Absorb all slimes, split into random specialist slime for each absorb. Oh. That feels fun. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but it's too cool for me to not. Hello. The enemy heroes have powerful abilities that may require you to alter your strategies. Oh, no. Be sure to always check a hero's buffs before engaging. Oh, no. Spart, 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 start. Start each combat with initial artifact. Fossilized Helix. Prevent the first time you would lose HP each combat. Boss has increased max HP. No starter relic. Draws two less cards and has one less energy. The start of combat boss gains unique buff. Can't be stunned. I feel like that didn't actually end up working in this context, so I'm happy about it. Energy Thief. Whenever the defect generates a void, it goes to the top of your draw pile. So is this what you're this is what you're gonna play next? Prevent the next time you would lose HP. Okay. Um, yeah, the fact that we can't goop them is sort of rough. Unless it applies the weak first. Now, this is just a bummer. This is just a bummer all around. What a terrible start that is. 
Oh, they play all three. Okay. They play all three. Gain four block. Gain three block. Unplayable. Ethereal. The end of your turn, add a void to the top of your draw pile. And whenever they generate a void, it goes to the top of my draw pile. Right now, I'm going to go for that. Split. It's irrelevant because I am going to eat them. I'm curious. So we ate them all. We got three strength. We have a time slime. Deals four damage, applies one week at the start of your turn. Nine damage from the... Okay. At the start of your turn, gains damage from your strength. Pretty cool. Uh, three damage at the start of your turn and causes you to draw an extra card. Revive... Oh, okay, interesting. Revive Scrap. I'm going to strike first and apply the goop after. Do I... I'm going to save that for when I can proc the vulnerable. I know that that might be silly. Okay. Here it comes. Gain three energy. Add a void to your discard pile. Deal 18 damage. Oh, no. Deal 18 damage. If this kills an enemy, gain 3 energy. Gain 3 block. Okay, so you're going to be doing 18 damage to me. I already can I'm blocking literally all of it. Very cons uh, convenient timing on that one there. Unplayable. Whenever this card is drawn, lose an energy. Oh, you little devil. I want to do that so we can get the extra strength, but now that guy's in the back. Uh, oh, you're so annoying. Oh, you're so annoying. Okay, the void does go away, though. It's ethereal. Took nothing. All right, what next, dude? Deal six damage. Deal 11 damage. Gain an artifact. Exhaust. I have no armor. Yeah, that has retained. Gain an energy to card. Leeching strike no longer gets us anything, unfortunately. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six cards. We're going to get six armor. We're going to go up to 11 block. That's almost perfectly fine. Um, I feel like we might as well strike, though. Like, I'm, I'm cool with taking two damage to do 10 taking what one more damage to do 10 it's kind of not worth caring about haunting lick is now a much better call it does get rid of that and then it applies the goop on top i'm gonna be taking 10 okay Six. All right. Full block. At the end of a turn, gain a frail. Shame on ye. Dingus. I've got to be honest. It was easier than a normal floor one boss. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Whenever you absorb a slime, gain one extra strength. On top of these strength we already get. Interesting. It's a power. So again, that's setting up like a miracle situation that we have to roll in though. That's kind of wild. Uh, leech life, deal 12 damage, consume, heal HP equal to the enemy's goop up to 18. Six goop to the target at the start of each of its turns. That's actually quite good. Uh, nothing new. Upon pickup, remove two cards from your deck. At the end of your turn, you no longer discard your hand. That doesn't seem good for us, really. Not on average. Try two additional cards, start each turn confused. I have not been building my deck in a way that facilitates that. I'm going to go with Empty Cage. 
and I am going to... What have I been doing? I will remove... I'm going to remove a tackle and a defend. Return. Protect the city. Oh, there's the gunslinger boy. Gotcha. Oh, that's a very clever way of adding, like, another... Because otherwise, it's a very limited pool of bosses. It's the final boss... What's the final, final boss, then? Is it, like... Because it can't just be one of the characters. Unless it's the ironclad, but that doesn't feel right. Uh, like, just because it's the starter. Is it... Is it the whale? Perchance, the whale? That's probably the call. Interesting. Uh, we're 45 minutes in. What do we do here? Man, I don't know. Remove a card and modify scrap oozes damage. Let's check the upgrades. What does this do? Nine goop at the start of each turn. Absorb all... Wait, wait. No randoms. Slime for each absorb. Then, and then command them all. That's fun. Ten, eight, split, command three times. Yeah, this is not the upgrade I necessarily care about with that. We could upgrade it just a, a, a standard defend at this point. Three licks could be good. Two weak to all enemies could be very good. I wish this I wish this applied two vulnerable and four goop. Because I'm really running into a lot of situations where I'm not ready to proc it. I wish this applied two vulnerable and four goop on, on the upgrade. I'm not saying that it should be cha changed to be that. I'm just saying, bang. That just doesn't work with what I hope was hoping for. I uh, know what I'm gonna go for. Uzbeth. On long fights, that seems really nice. What could go wrong? Lick. Lick. Goop. Looks tasty. Get another lick. Go for another leech. Split into a bruiser. I don't know, man. That's something. You're stealing lots of my money at this point. You're doing 20 damage, huh? Uh, nope. Or you, you were. I just weakened you. Hmm. And then, proc him. Oh, did it not proc? Oh, it didn't go for that upgrade. We didn't go for that upgrade. Okay, we block most of this. We take two damage, but we can just heart of goo. It's hardly that big of a concern. I don't know. I feel like killing this scrap is not that great for us. Bronze Slime deals 10 damage to all enemies at the start of your turn. Skips its next attack. Five. Two and two probably will work. Then we get rid of the other one. We get our strength up for now. I don't know. Is it worth it? Nine goop or two licks? Nine goop technically is going to be more useful. But we only have one more turn to do damage. So we have to do this now. I don't know. We're already going to goop him. You little devil! I don't know. That wasn't the play. We could have done a little bit more damage by doing strike instead. But I'll tell you what. We weren't going to kill anyways. Can we kill him? Maybe we could kill him the next time we see him. I don't know. Took a little bit more of my money. Mega lick. Apply weak, one weak, and four goop to all enemies. The first two turns you play each. Wait, the first two cards you play each turn that targets enemies also commands. That's actually a really fun power. It's a really fun power. 
Study the Spire. Add a random boss card to your hand at the start of your next three turns. Guardian Whirl. Awaken one. Oh my god. I'm so curious about these other classes, too. Whenever you shuffle your draw pile, gain six block. Every three turns, gain an energy. Do we need to, like, are we even, do we care about removing anymore? Like, I feel like I'm starting to remove too much. Like, I don't have... Eh, I could probably... I could probably afford to remove a strike still. Effects that apply goop apply to more. Could be really good, too, though. Let's remove that. I, you know what? A second leeching strike is kind of cracked. I like that. Um, maybe. Four goop, four block exhaust is interesting. I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably say no though. Should I buy a fire potion for 50 bucks? Nah. Next. Next. 10, 10. Okay. Leech. So we're blocking all of it. That being said, I do want to focus down the same because these guys are going to steal my money. Hey, you don't have any money. Let's teach him a lesson. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Uh, so much for armor here, I guess? I'm hoping that... We'll get one here. Split Brute, we did not. Uh, Alright, I guess I take ten. Well, I guess I take one. I suppose I, I could have got that sorted. We still can heal... Twice? I just really like the idea of slurping them all and seeing what we get. Ghost fl Flame Slime. Ghost Flame Slime. Deals 5 damage, applies 3 soul burn at the start of turn. I don't know what that does. 9 damage at the start of each turn. Gains damage from strength. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Um. Bye. Vicious tackle. Oh, oh, viscous. Vicious. Sorry, viscous would make a lot of sense. So, uh, viscous. Deal sixteen damage and then three to yourself. This gains twice the damage bonus from goop. Ooh. In an abandoned temple, you find a giant book open, riddled with cryptic writings. You need not interpret or elaborate on the script you know that lies within and the cost it incurs upon the owner. I don't remember, man. Give it to me. The first attack played each turn that costs two or more is played twice. Upon pickup, obtain a special curse. Ah. I forgot what this does. I have, There's no escape from this curse. Rip. I mean, can I exhaust it, though? The first time I... So, basically... Whenever I play this, it plays twice, which is not, like, great, though, because it doesn't get the effect from the goop twice, unless we get some kind of a passive that, uh, that does make it do that. See, this is my curious question. Ah! <laughs> you got me! Oh, you got me. <laughs> Fair. 
Um, it's going to get rid of two of those, but not all. Oof. Big oof. Oh my god, absolutely horrendous oof. Um, man, triple, the triple block on that is just really annoying. The triple artifact. Because if I do this, it's going to block it entirely. And that sucks. So I'm just going to do a lot of damage, take this hit, and frown. We're not going to get full... Okay. No, we definitely don't want to kill this turn. Oh, shoot. We don't want to kill because we want to get a little bit more value out of our regen. <laughs> Son of a gun. My child is too strong. The first time you consume each turn, add a lick to your hand. Absorb. Split into... Wait. Manually recombine. Yeah, it absorbs. Split into a random specialist slime. Okay. Maybe. Nibble and lick. Deal a damage. Add a lick to your hand. Draw a card. Basically, proc, goop, add lick. Draw a card. It's not bad. But sometimes you don't want to probably proc that. Do we just risk it all here so that if I die, it's like a very convenient place to end the episode here? Because... Or do we just keep going? Because I'm, I'm, like, really digging this. Maybe just play a couple episodes of this, man. Maybe just play a couple episodes of this. I have healed. Then we can go over fight this elite. Uh, negate the next two curses you obtain. Sure. Again, I'm not really going for the upgrades, anywho. Metallicize. Uh, I don't really. I don't want to. I don't want to exhaust any of these. I don't want to exhaust any of these. Um. Yeesh. Three to all for sure on this one. And then, you know what? Hit me with a Mire Slime. Nine. I know it's not great, but like I can still, uh, it's still 32 damage for two. Like, I don't mind. Wait, 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 wait. I took a lot. Did I take a hit? Oh, no. Oops. I beefed it. All right. Um. Lead by example seems good. It's, oh, my God. This is just not a kill. Okay. Good. Leech energy. I. It's, it's a waste, more or less. Oh, now we have the Meyer slime going in, in the front there, though. That... Ooh... Um. Who's he going to target? Okay, targeted him. Goop. Target him again. Sure. Goop spray, maybe? Ooze bath, for sure, actually. Then we'll goop, we'll goop them all up just in case we get our two costs to go super crazy on this guy. Get him, boys! Incoming hell. Incoming absolute hell. Vulnerable there. Block and a couple licks. Sure. 
I mean, it's a lot of damage, but we are going to take so much more. Ow. Incoming incredible pain. Holy crap. That was the... That was the rough situation right there. Um... Yeah. I'll take it. I'll take it. I thought we would maybe die there, but hey. Strawberry. Max HP up. Emerald key. Sure. Fill all your empty potion slots with random potions. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, wait. That's right. We didn't have to do that. Four-plated armor. Ooh, living wall up. Get 15 block, apply 6 goop. I do think that going for a second one of these makes a lot of sense. Free action. Oh! Destroy key. Spend 100 souls to destroy the key and gain a dex. Gotcha! Okay. Break it later. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Very cool. I don't know that I need the dex right now. One dex just improves the amount we defend. Gain 85 souls. Obtain a relic. Become cursed, but we negate that. At the end, what is it though? At the end of your turn, put a copy of this card on top of your drop pile. While sneaking past a group of shrouded figures, one of them approaches you. Got anything for me, friend? Please? Maybe some coin? I just need somewhere to stay. I have treasures I can trade. He seems delusional, but harmless. We'll do this. Singing bowl. You snatch the precious relic from his clutches and walk away from behind you here. Have you no shame? Have you no shame? You have absolutely no shame. It is an honor to be robbed by the overlord of the spire. All right. When adding cards into your deck, you may instead raise your max HP by two. Ah, uh, hello there. Um. Goop em. Okay. Just going all in on this stuff, seeing if we can... Nah, okay. Leech. I think we might be able to do it. Oh, well, it's the, that's a lot of block. Who's bad? Slurp. We get a lick. We get a lick. I mean, I've tried. I don't know, man. That was a mistake. I just wanted to see if we could kill him. Maybe we can. Maybe we still can. In fact, it'll be all worth it if we get to see what happens when he dies. And I think we actually can. Oh, we totally can. Oh my god. It's, of course we can. Bump. Oh my god. Okay, so we just get we just get an extraordinary amount of souls. Gotcha. Leeching slime. This one that gives us a little bit of block. Take the max HP. Lose one slime slot in exchange in ex lose one slime slot in exchange for strength. That sentence, man. Why does this look like a bowl of cereal being poured in? <laughs> I don't know, man. If you have no attacks in your hand, draw two cards, roll through, deal five damage to all enemies. You do not take damage from the next two tackle cards. Ooh. Uh, deal three damage when you split. Return this from the discard pile to your hand. Cool. You can now remove cards at rest sites. I kind of already can. When viewing your drop pile, they're shown in order. Mm -hmm. Start combat, vulnerable to all enemies. I think it's definitely time to remove one extra defend. We removed the the attack last time. I'm like not wowed by any of this here. Apply four goop twice. I that's not that relevant to us. It's it it's nice. It's not crazy.
Um. Gain deal 10 damage, gain 10 block. Add a random boss card to your hand. They're all powers. I, it's moving too fast for me to read those, so I'm just gonna say, I don't know, man. I, 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 I guess, I don't know, do we frozen eye? I don't know how much I truly care. Bag of marbles, sure. Frozen eye, whatever, sure. Yeah, fine. I don't know if I'm like uh, smart enough to fully utilize that garbage, but alas. So hopefully upgrade, but we can always back it out here. 20 damage and three damage to yourself. I even missed that part. Didn't really matter though. Uh, too weak. I, I, that could be good. That's like a really, it's not an exciting upgrade, but it's a very nice, clean, safe upgrade. Strange, 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 strange. I think we can actually super kill. That does 24, and that's pre-goopage. So that's a kill for sure. I, ah, I hate that we draw, drew all of those at the same time, though. Attack, attack. Oh, you're the one who's gooped. 16, 32, 16, this 40, this 48. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, we're gonna take a little bit of damage there, but we can, uh, we can just goop them. And poop them. Want to make sure we attack in multiple chunks there so we get extra healing done. It looks tasty. I feel like leech energy is just really good. Energy potion. Take it instead of that. Scooch on down to the boss. This is it's very wild. Okay. Bop. Bop. That was almost a freaking kill. If it wasn't for that armor, we actually probably would have gotten them there. If it wasn't for you rotten armor. Okay. Uh, just making sure that that's good. Ooh, I want to so bad. I just wanted to so bad. Sometimes you don't do the right thing just because you know there's a funnier thing out there for you. Definitely goop spray. Okay, we, this is the third turn though, so we're super, super fine. Weak potion. I'll take the max HP. Thanks. Bye. Aw, Sneko. Definitely get our zero cost sons of guns out of here. Uh, consistent damage sounds really nice. Oh my. Oh my man.
Okay. Maybe we can play Revive Scrap for cheaper. This son of a gun's dead as hell, though. <laughs> just... Bye. Can we just keep fighting you? Ooh, Slurp Plus. I actually do want Slurp Plus. Showdown. Retain, deal nine damage, play all strikes in your hand on random targets. Nine, eight, six. Oh, oh boy. Oh, you have Necronomicon too. Gain energy at the start of your turn. Every 10th attack you play does double damage. Uh-oh. This ain't very good of a start here. Ain't a very good start here. Whenever you strike Herma with an attack card, the leftmost card is discarded and then it draws a card. Every six times this happens, he gains a strength. Oh, interesting. Has to be with an attack card, though. Six damage, too vulnerable. Nine blocking. Gain nine block and too weak. Too rugged, gain too vulnerable. I don't know what rugged does. Oh, it's Necronomicon. Do you have the energy for it? Why does it why is it grayed out? Oh, because it's one energy. One energy, you have three energy total. You wouldn't be able to play it. Dead on. I don't know what dead on. Probably, it's prob if I were to guess, it'd probably be if you use exactly the right amount of energy. Like, if you if the energy this cost takes you down to zero. That, that would be my guess. That would be a very clever one. Um, is it worth it? Is it worth it? No, it's not, but I'm doing it anyways. Ow, it just really wasn't worth it. I just wanted to see the big funny number. Is that so bad? I don't know what to ditch here. I don't want to ditch any of it. I guess at this point, maybe Uzbath is not going to pay out, truthfully. I, I don't think that that's like a great call, but like we're getting the four there. Oh, that damage counted. I do think we just start to like go ham here for a sec. And then deal with the repercussions after. Like a genius? Nope. We can uh, gain the energy and stuff if we want. 10 damage, play all strikes, so we get- we take a uh, 27. I'm fine with that. So they can't play more than three cards in a turn, any like no matter what it seems like. I want to goop spray leech energy for sure. Ay ay ay. We definitely want to strike him one more time. much we can kill, though. Isn't there? Yeah. There is. <laughs> eh. Eh. About that. Gain four potency. Two turns from now, absorb all your slimes. That's cool. Another ooze bath. Next turn, gain two energy. Three energy, it's just cut off, and three strength, add slime crush to your hand, exhaust. 
You're able to deal 35 damage. That's a fun, that's a fun meme card. I like that. I like that a lot. I don't know if we need it right now, but I would love to build a deck around that. That's super funny. Hit me with another ooze bath. Hit me with another ooze bath. I know what I said. Double the effectiveness of potions during merchant, boss, and elite combat. So you start with an egg. Gain energy at the start of your turn. During merchant, boss, and elite combats, gain energy at the start of your turn. That's just super good. They're needed in the beyond. I, see, yeah, there's the ironclad. Eh. The red one probably just gives us strength. Yeah. Logically. Stupid. Why not, though? I'm curious. Do we just... Yeah, we just get to go straight to the shop now. Uh, I do have money to do stuff, actually. Enemies in elite combats have 25% less health. Upon pickup, bruise five random potions. Deal six damage. Oh, that picture is wild. Deals two additional damage for each exhausted card containing Lick. I mean, we've got quite a bit of them. Fine. That was a mistake. Give me the five regen, though, and move on. Nope. All right, split, give me definitely the AOE. And probably the Meyer Slime. Like we want to kill these all at the same time. That's always the deal with these guys. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, we'll just split it all up. Put it all up evenly. And then stupidly take a lot of damage. Let us play. Yeah, this isn't the way to do it, though. I think we've really, um... Pushed ourselves too far... Uh... Away from... Our defensive abilities. Okay. Okay. Two cards and exhaust one. Do I exhaust the defend? Even though I'm not gonna defend at all. I think I think that it's fine to ditch that right now. We need to defend. We need to live. We'll do that. Apply a vulnerable and a goop. Yeah, we're we're just. We're going guns a-blazing at this point. Ow! We could regen. Oh my god. Alright, we needed to we needed to focus a little bit harder on one. Absolutely. Uh but at this point, should we regen? Is the fight gonna go on long enough for it to matter? We have okay, this is a turn where we get the free 18 though. I think we definitely go for the blocks and slurps. The box and slurps. What does that sound like a German. Okay. We get the kill there. We mass repurpose here, gaining all of that armor. We are so freaking... Uh, all of that strength. So freaking wild now. Can we get a double kill? Oh, I think we can. Maybe. Maybe. I don't believe it's this this doesn't swap targets though. No, it does not. Okay, so you're gonna come back to life, but you're not gonna be at full HP, and this is gonna be a lot easier to kill because it's at like super gooper levels.
I don't have another way. I don't have a way to goop you. What are you gonna do? You do you attack for a little. There we go. It's fine. Alright. Leech energy up? I mean, like, I feel like I really like it. I don't know. Maybe I'm going too hard on it. Normal enemy combats are no longer encountering question mark rooms. Sure. Elite? I'll be honest, I was intending to stop this video at 50 minutes, so I'm questioning, like, maybe we just try and go down to the Ironclad. Also, I, I don't know, I feel like maybe, maybe this is a better way to get to the end anywho. I'm going to probably regret that. At the start of combat, split into a leeching slime and gain a slime slot. And gain a slime slot? Yeah, of course. There's no downside. Yeah, there we go. Even more lick. Strength up. See, this is, this is the issue. We don't have a... We don't have the goop we need. That's a problem. That's actually, that is a problem. That's why it could be too, that, that's why it could be bad to go for that. Go for a million of those. Maybe we should have led by example on that one. Maybe, maybe. Okay, we're basically not going to take damage here. I think Ooze Bath into Mass Repurpose should set us up. Oh, what the hell? Deal six damage at the start of your turn after attacking increase its damage. Eh. Largely going to be irrelevant there. Hunting Lick, does that count for this? It does, because it does have... It, it specifies has Lick in the name. That's all. Bonk. That's huge right now. Jar of Slime apply 15 goop. Yes. We need to be using our stuff more. Meyer Slime. Hey, hey, hey. What am I doing? What am I doing? Go ham. And then command them all. I'm going to do that. Command them all. Because we're starting to add more and more. Spire growth? Get what you do. But whatever it is, it, it's not something you do yet. Okay, so there we go. Okay, yeah, that's much better. We get this, we get to draw an extra card, we get to then lick. Do we leeching strike this? I think we do. And then we will pre-goop them. At the end of your turn, take 10 damage. Um. Large problem coming out. We're going to be taking a silly amount of damage. In three turns, loses three HP. It's not that great. Oh, well, it's in addition. Incoming pain. I might as well ooze bath. Incoming lots of pain there. Uh, we'll we'll regen maybe at the start of like next turn. Be a little bit better way to go about it. But we get super super tackle. 96 damage. Don't mind if I do. Fear potion apply three vulnerable. We could, but again, we really just need to use our stuff more. Flame tackle deal 16 damage and three to yourself. Tackles deal three more damage this combat. Cool, but not for us for now. Whenever you use a potion, this could incentivize. This will incentivize us. Gain one strength for every 12th card you play. I'm going to say no. 
You may only play one boss card in a turn. Hit me with the rest before the boss. Because this could... I, I, I think this might be the final boss right now. I, I don't know what the game does re... Like, the keys and the final boss. Like, I don't know if that's a thing here or not. Oof, this is weird. I don't know, man. I know hitting him makes him do something else. 10 damage and... Uh, does something. Intends to do some kind of negative effect. Okay. Group spray dissolve. Get rid of... At this point, probably lead by example. I don't think we intend to probably utilize. Oh, God. I'm just afraid of what we're going to get. 16 and a block. I mean, I'm not going to kill. Oh, that didn't even do... That didn't even... Okay. That makes sense. Um, uh, I'm afraid that if we uh, hit again, we will get a worse roll. I genuinely do. Lick. Beach. Same, same deal. We actually can't kill. But we have more than enough armor that this is not going to be an issue. I'm actually... I think we're going to be fine. Yeah, we're fine. Haunting Lick. Leech energy. Bye-bye. Bye-bye! Just desert six damage to all enemies. Exhume two random Lick cards. I'm going to say no, because that actually has a reverse synergy. Oh, these guys again. Hello. Is that it has a dis synergy in a way? Uh -huh. I'll focus down one a little bit more. Maybe we don't need to be so stingy with uh, with splitting our damage. I'll try this out. Go for th I will go for the AOE though, and that. Into the repurpose. Incoming disaster, though. Who has the most goop? Nobody, ha nobody has any goop. I can't leeching strike a darn thing. That's a problem. That's a problem. Alright. Alright. That's a problem. We just didn't draw any defense, which is a deck construction issue. Which is an off a branch of a skill issue. Okay, we'll set you up. We're going to have to kill that one again, but I don't think it'll be too bad because that's six, uh, 29 goop on this guy. Oh, wait, I killed you the last turn? What? All right, well, there's nothing I can do to get an extra heal out here because you are so darn uh, gooped up. But I'm not going to wait around here and hope. Take the max HP. And I'm feeling a little bit concerned. We'll see how this goes. Ah, you have a minion in front. Minions abandon combat without their leader receive 50% more damage. I mean, no, this tends to block on a certain... Feel no pain. All right, what's your deal? Ironclad begins fight with a fortification, which will grant him 10 block each turn. When fortification has been destroyed, 
He loses Barricade, but gains five strength at the start of each turn. Okay, so this is just part of what Barricade, uh, or Ironclad, gets. Lead by example to start sounds really nice. When vulnerable, take 25% more attack damage rather than the 50%. Whenever you would receive five or less on block damage, reduce it to one. Okay. Gain energy at the start of your turn when you open a boss chest of Tainted Crisp. Okay. It seems like that didn't do anything. At the start of your second turn, gain 14 block. I'm wondering if I really even want to um, kill the front. I will do it here. Because it gives us that extra. Oh, let's just go for it. I, I, I don't know. Man, the, the weakness thing, or the... I didn't even see what you were doing. I should have focused a little bit harder there. Us having weakened while he has Tori is going to be potentially problematic. 42 damage. You'll dealt damage equal to your block. We need to do a lot of damage, but unfortunately, I don't have any. Like, I don't have what I need. You're going to need to do some serious work to the armor there. Terrible targeting. I don't know what I could have done about that, though. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, so it's down to 16. That's not nearly as bad. Whenever you attack this turn, deal four damage back. It's going to be on the next turn, though. Deal zero damage. That's not... Wait. Why does it say it's going to do 16, though? Oh, because of the play order there. That was brutal. That was brutal. And now he does have... Whenever attack deals four damage back, that is actually... Oh, and the timing on that is so annoying. This doesn't count as an attack, does it? Okay, when those attack, it doesn't count. All right, good to know. Oh, my God. But I need to go for it. I have a lot of armor this turn, and he's actually not doing anything as far as that goes. Poor targeting. That was to the music. That was so nice. Okay. Okay. Whenever cards exhausted, whenever attacked, it's four damage back. I could proc this and get a get an extra lick and just put it on him, but I just is that really gonna help me that much? Okay, here's the turn where we get the super armor, right? Or is that already passed? I think that's already passed. Oh, the body slam! Okay, maybe we gotta get rid of this son of a gun. Okay. Let's think. Oi, oi, oi. I definitely want to ooze bath him twice if I can, and I can. I could just take this hit, as silly as it looks. I could just take this hit. I hate it. No, we don't take this hit. He's going to do some damage to us because of the nature of this defense coming in first. Okay. All right, so now he's got Super Gooper on. All right, he's just going he's just going straight up defend mode. That is not a problem to me. Uh Let's just tackle Viscous. Do we kill this now?
What happens when this goes down? When it's destroyed, Ironclad loses Barricade. But gains 5 strength at the end of the turn. I don't really care about him having Barricade right now. I actually don't really care about that. That bothers me none. This is going to die, like, randomly. Okay, okay. Maybe I care a little bit about the barricade. Good news is he's not going to have it again. Good news is it's gone. Demon form? He activated demon form. Oh, that's what... It, okay, I got you. Start your turn, gain five. We got to go ham. Okay, we got to get rid of the armor. The good news is that actually shouldn't be that tough. Okay, we gooped him up again. Okay. Looks tasty. We could go for that. Add an extra lick. Alright. That was pretty decent. That was pretty decent. I think we can I think we can jam him down here. He's not very good at defending himself at the moment. We got the vis vis I'm gonna go and do a viscous tackle. Uh Bonk! <laughs> oh my god. Oh. The thump, the thump, a comforting heartbeat can be felt throughout the room. Are you at the end? Is your purpose fulfilled? You feel something evil at your very core. You give 673 souls back to the heart. The heart squirms in elation, pounding for forever more. Despite your best efforts, the door to the heart's chamber remains vulnerable. So you ask yourself, have you truly done enough? You feel that you have given a total of 5,481 souls to the heart. The heart pulses louder and louder as your consciousness fades. Victory. Gotcha. So potentially we do need to break all of the pieces to see the true, true end or whatever. But uh, super cool. Okay, so the, each level it gives multiple cards. I didn't know if it, I was expecting only five total card unlocks for, for some reason. I was like, uh, but this is just so deep. Uh, Divine and Conqueror, deal 10 damage to a random enemy for each slime, absorb all slimes. Gain 10 block, 1 blur for each slime, absorb all slimes, exhaust. Add 4 random tackle cards to your hand that cost 1 less this combat. Ooh, interesting. New character! Very, very cool. Alright, well, alas, alas, that is that, though. That is going to do it here for today for Slay the Spire Downfall. We've unlocked, you know, another character, the Guardian. If you want to see more of this, let me know in the comment section down below. I was entirely uh, planning on doing a one-off of this, but this is so good and so, like, it's so polished. I genuinely, I'll say it, I said it earlier, I'll say it again. I forgot that this was not just a real expansion. <laughs> it's really, really good. Alas, alas, you can get this for free with the link at the top description. It is a free mod uh, but you can download it straight via Steam now. No dealing with strange, you know, extra tools, anything that you might not want to deal with, which is such a cool thing. I I'm sure that this must mean that the Slay the Spire devs gave the okay on this, which I got to say, awesome, uh, as they should, because this is incredible. Go play this. If you like Slay the Spire, play this now, definitely and obviously. Thank you, thank you, and I... We'll see you next time. My name is Retromation, covering the games every single day with an extra specialty in roguelikes. If that is your kind of a jam, this is a channel you want to be subscribed to, especially if you like roguelikes and roguelike deck builders. I will show you so many great new games every single day. Dead serious. You really want to be subscribed to this channel if you like those genres. But I will see you next time. Bye.